Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, you're very welcome to this Mass for the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time. May I, as I always do, honour with an introduction our Mass team, Brother Richard Midwell, uh, iconographer here at Redemptorist Publications, a uh, wonderful, talented young Alessandro who assembles all this weekly and puts it together. And of course, of course, our lovely and loving young married couple, Giselle and Paul. Whoever you are, dear friends, wherever you are in the world, you're heartily welcome to our Garden Mass. We put ourselves in honesty before the Lord. We come as we are and ask the Lord to gift us with the grace of his mercy. We sing a new song to you, Lord, for you have worked wonders. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your right hand and holy arm have brought us salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. All the ends of the earth have seen your salvation, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace, peace to the people, people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you. We give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the mind of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together at Sechem, then called the elders, leaders, judges, and scribes of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Then Joshua said to all the people, If you will not serve the Lord, choose today whom you wish to serve, whether the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you are now living. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The people answered, We have no intention of deserting the Lord our God, who brought us and our ancestors out of the land of Egypt, the house of slavery, who worked those great wonders before our eyes, and preserved us along the way we travelled, and among all the peoples through whom we journeyed. We too will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste, taste and, and see, see that, that the, the Lord, Lord is good. good. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Taste, taste and, and see, see that, that the Lord, Lord is, is good. <clears throat> the Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The Lord turns his eyes to the just 
and his ears to their appeal. Taste and see that the Lord is good. They call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Taste, Taste and, and see that, that the Lord, Lord is, is good. good. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will but from them all the Lord will rescue him. He will keep guard over his bones, not one of his bones shall be broken. Taste, Taste and, and see that, that the Lord, Lord is, is good. good. <clears throat> Evil brings death to the wicked. Those who hate the good are doomed. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. Those who hide in him shall not be condemned. Taste, Taste and, and see, see that the Lord, Lord is good. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Give way to one another in obedience to Christ. Wives should regard their husbands as they regard the Lord, since as Christ is head of the church and saves the whole body, so is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church submits to Christ, so should wives to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives just as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with a form of words so that when he took her to himself she would be glorious with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that, but holy and faultless. In the same way, husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man to love his wife is for him to love himself. And a man never hates his own body, but feeds it and looks after it. And that is the way Christ treats the church, because it is his body. And we are its living parts. For this reason, a man must leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two will become one body. This mystery has many Im implications. But I am saying it applies to Christ and the Church. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia. Your, Your words, words are, are spirit, spirit Lord, Lord, and, and they, they are life. life. You, you have, have the, the message, message of, of eternal, eternal life. life. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After hearing his doctrine, many of the followers of Jesus said, this is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe and who it was who would betray him. He went on, that is why I told you that no one would come to me unless the Father allows him. After this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with them. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe, we know, the Jew of the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The two outstanding figures of Jewish history, uh, Abraham and Moses, belong to a time when the people were desert nomads living with their flocks on the steppe country and moving on when they needed new pastures. It was a dramatic change to their way of life when they became settlers on the land. They gave up their tents and built houses. Their security, which previously had centred on the fact that they were a travelling people together, a travelling community, now their security started to focus on the land. They became property owners. At the turning point of this history, there stands the towering figure of Joshua, the man who succeeded Moses to lead the people of Israel. Moses had led his people out of bondage from Egypt and then led them for 40 years wandering through the desert. He moulded them into an organised community based on the law. But Moses was not permitted to enter the Promised Land. That role was reserved for his disciple and chief of staff, Joshua. It was he who commanded the invasion and conquest of Canaan after leading the people across the River Jordan. After the invasion, he partitioned the land and allotted defined districts to each of the tribes. Joshua is celebrated as the bravest commander in Jewish history. At the Northwest Military Academy of West Point in the States, Joshua's name appears in the Hall of Fame of brilliant military commanders. His story is one long military adventure or one long tale of violence, depending upon your point of view. When Joshua is an old man and the country is resting from war, he calls all the tribes of Israel to the ancient sanctuary of Shechem. The story is told in today's first reading. All the elders, the leaders, the judges and scribes are called to listen to the last farewell of the distinguished leader. He does not recall his military victories, nor does he ask the people to cherish what he has done for them. Instead, he asks them to choose whom they wish to serve, the God of their ancestors or the false gods of the lands that they now inhabit. It, it's as if Joshua wants to be remembered not as a great military commander who brought his people to the promised land, but as the prophet who brought his people to choose God again. This inner battle of faith seems to preoccupy him more than the military campaigns ever did. He gives the people the opportunity to close the book on the past or to recommit themselves to the God of Israel. Joshua is tired, he's old, death is looking him in the face. He has seen too much bloodshed to boast of the beauty of battle. He's seen too many ruined 
cities and disfigured corpses to sing of the glories of war. The old commander is concerned with the geography of the heart. Joshua knows one thing, that all choices must be renewed, that people don't stay dedicated to a person or to a cause just by continuing to exist. Joshua asks his people to choose, and he declares before them his own choice to serve the Lord. Thus, Joshua wins the last and most important battle of his life when he leads the people into a victory of fidelity. They declare, we too will serve the Lord our God. The choice that Joshua offered his people is echoed today when Jesus offers his followers the choice to stay with him or the choice to go. After hearing Jesus' teaching on the bread of life, many of his followers expressed a complete confusion or complete disbelief. They find Jesus' language intolerable. Many of them do choose to leave him. Then, like Joshua to the twelve tribes, Jesus turns to the twelve apostles and gives them the choice to close the book on their shared past. But just as the tribes told Joshua that they could not reject the Lord after all he'd done for them, so Peter asks Jesus, how could they turn to anyone else for the message of life? So the apostles exercise their freedom. They choose to stay with Jesus. Both Joshua and Jesus respect people's freedom of choice. They know that past choices can become old and exhausted. Past choices can die from neglect. Past choices have to be kept alive, don't they? With new commitment. Because decisions in faith or decisions in love are never settled once and for all. The apostles do what we must do, dear friends. We keep on choosing Jesus, opting to stay with the one who has the message of eternal life. That choice, dear friends, will always need to be refreshed, won't it, throughout our lives. However challenging the world may find Christ's teachings, we know that he has the message of eternal life and there is no one else to whom we want to go. We pray for the Pope, all bishops, priests and deacons. We thank them for giving their lives in service to the Church and ask that through their belief and commitment they would bring many to know the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for our government who continue to work hard on plans and strategies to keep the virus at bay and get the economy back on track. We ask that they would find time for rest and to be with their families. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those who pass on the faith to children, whether this be as parents or grandparents, and for those that share the message of Jesus with children at Sunday school or through catechesis. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Thank you, dear friends, for sending in your prayer petitions, and I'll read just a couple. 
Dear Father Dennis and the wonderful Mass team, greetings from Hua Hin in Thailand. Our large family was delighted to hear that you are continuing the Mass for now. So many of us are again in lockdown with the Delta variant. The beautiful Mass and garden lifts us out of the everyday dreariness and takes us to another sanctuary of peace and beauty. Please pray for our elderly grandparents who both have COVID. They are extraordinarily accepting of what has happened and have a deep faith in the Lord. May the same Lord continue to bless you, Brother Richard, Alessandro, Giselle and Paul. Dear Father Dennis and Mass team, I wrote to you earlier this year requesting for my daughter who was having difficulty starting a family, requesting a prayer. I'm delighted to tell you that she is expecting a baby at Christmas time and all is going well. She and her partner are delighted and it is a great joy to see them happy. Many thanks for your prayers and my husband and I continue to enjoy your lovely garden mass. Warm regards. God our Father, your beloved Son, taught us to have confidence in the power of prayer. Ask, it will be given you. Seek, you will find. Listen to these voices that ask of you. We recommend all these prayers in the name of the one you call beloved, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed.
choosing, choosing, choosing. It's here beside me. <laughs> um, my dear friend John and Donny here for a new beginning, a new choice. In out of the way places of the heart where your thoughts never think to wander, this beginning has been quietly forming, waiting until you are ready to emerge. For a long time it has watched your desire, feeling the emptiness growing inside you, noticing how you willed yourself on, still unable to leave what you had outgrown. It watched you play with the seduction of safety and the grey promises that sameness whispered, heard the waves of turmoil rise and relent, wondered would you always live like this. Then the delight when your courage kindled and out you stepped onto new ground, your eyes young again with energy and dream, a path of plenitude opening up for you. Though your destination is not yet clear, you can trust the promise that is opening. Unfurl yourself into the grace of beginning that is at one with your life's desire. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon you will be at home in a new rhythm, for your soul senses the world that awaits you. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and keep you the one who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Thank you very much, dear friends, for joining us for this Mass. And as always, a special thank you to all those of you who are helping us to honour our charitable outreach here at Redemptorist Publications. God bless you and thank you.